a nice one. All right. Hey, what's going on? I'm out here at the lake uh, catching bait. Yeah, I love catching bait. Uh, serves a purpose. You're not just goofing off fishing. You're catching bait. You know, you need bait to catch fish and uh, to go do the goofing off fishing. So, yeah. <laughs> Love catching bait. All right, yeah, you've seen the last few videos. I've uh, been catching a lot of smaller, um, smaller fish, smaller flatheads. Um, so I need to catch some bigger bait. Uh, last couple videos been setting lines and yeah, tearing them, tearing them up. But uh, they've been pretty small, most of them. So uh, we're gonna get some, get into some bigger bait today. Here we go. <laughs> Right. Big bluegill. There we go. A nice one. Okay, I've been at it for about an hour and a half. I don't know, I got 30, 40. Most of them about, most of them are about that size, three or four inch. Mix of green, green perch and sunfish. I got a couple drum, like eight inch drum. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Caught out about 90 degrees out here, so uh, we definitely got enough bait to go set some lines. Another little one, that's the story of our life here the last week and a half, two weeks. That's all right. Never gets old. All right, we let her go. You about got it. All right, we'll check back, we'll get another one. All right, thanks for being here. See ya. Thank <laughs> you. 
Turn that bugger off. I always try to see how well they're hooked before I... Hey, he's hooked good. All right, go. All right. All right, that's two fish so far on this trip. Uh, the rivers came down good four or five feet from um, just, oh, about the last, I'd, I'd say within the last six days. Okay, I'm coming up on a line that's tied to the tree. I don't know if you can see this this tree and the shot are not shaking. Oh, pretty good. Let's see what it is. Nice and smooth, ain't scuffed up. Free stuff. I dig it. Whiskey. concrete
you know, things like this happen all the time when you um, get out exploring, looking for things. Um, you always catch a big or catch a big fish when uh, you're out perch fishing. You know, catch a big 15 pound channel cat, or uh, go mushroom hunting, and you, you look all day, and then you get back to your car and you don't find one. You get back to your car and there's one right by the the, the door on your car. You know. You know how that happens. We walked this whole sandbar and found a found those hooks, um, a couple nice bait hooks. My daughter gathered up this stuff. It's all junk. But anyway, I didn't find nothing good. But then here's the boat. They're right here by the boat. This is a real nice. So far, it looks nice. Old lid to a old mason jar that would have the snap ring you know canning jar storage storage jar right by the boat walk up and down this for miles a lot of a lot of old trash in this in the sandbar find nothing and then that's under the bow of the boat stuff like that happens all the time it's funny but I got a, uh, 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 I've got a uh, canning jar with one of them wire snap rings on it. I don't know exactly what they're called, but just a storage jar that got the old wire ring that snap over. You know what I'm talking about? The wire fits in that groove. I got, I got one that I found that, I think I got two of them that I found that, um, the jar and the wire, but didn't have lids. So. Needed that. All right. Grab us here in a second. All right, you on? Go ahead and record a shot of me and then go down. All right, I've got one uh, hanging up, tied, just tied up on a limb here. All right, ready? What is it? Turtle? Gar? Right. Another good night. Put on my seat. This is like the fourth night or fourth, fourth or fifth time we've set lines down here in about two weeks, and we've been having real good luck. I appreciate you guys coming along. Like always, you brought me good luck, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, we'll get into some bigger, bigger flatheads, bigger catfish. Got to. Surely we can't downside. All right, we're gonna try some different places. Um, got into some bigger bait and uh, had a hard time keeping them alive for this trip. Um, a lot of our bait wasn't very lively by the time we got here. It's just so hot, it's been in the 90s and um, had a lot of big bluegill, big hand-sized bluegill. And when you get a bait tank full of them and it's, uh, out in the beaten down sign it's it's hard to keep them fresh so if i would have had real good fresh bait we probably would have caught more fish and uh we'll uh we'll keep at it appreciate it we'll see you next time thanks oh.